everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Rachel Ray here and today I have something pretty exciting I'm, I'm a little worried about it though to be honest with you it, it came delivered in this way um, it's kind of falling apart <laughs> this is from the Kien I'm gonna butcher this so I apologize in advance Kien Zahui store on AliExpress. Um, quite a few people have recommended that I try this store because they have poured glue canvases, or so they, you know, everyone is saying, and uh, and I decided to try them out. I kind of stocked their, their selection for a few days, and I was having trouble finding something that I liked because a lot of the aesthetic is very Asian inspired and I, you know me, I love, I love Asian stuff, but it was just a little too much. <laughs> and, um, and then I found one that I thought would be really cool to do. Um, yeah, looks like it got sliced. Um, hopefully my painting's okay. Anyway, uh, let's, let's see if I can show you this. It was called Peach Flower on the listing, 60 by 60, and it's a round diamond painting. So the it's just the circle, I think. <laughs> I think that's what the listing was saying. Uh, I could probably just open it this way. I hope everything's all right. Um, so this was $25 and I got a dollar off coupon from AliExpress, the website itself. And so that was $24 in total, uh, US dollars on the listing. Um, ooh, there's two toolkits. Very nice. Oh, and they come with four placers and baggies. Very nice. Um, ordered on the 11th of January, shipped on the 15th arrived on the 27th. So that's 16 days total, which is very, very quick. Very quick. I ordered it right before I heard about the China shutdown for Chinese New Year. So that's how I got it so quick. Um, the canvas is nice. Wow. And it's glittery. Okay. Okay. Very cool. So here's the drills. Look at that. That's actually really nice. I kind of feel like I should have gone bigger, but like at the same time, if I had gone bigger, then it would be huge. You know what I mean? So I just got the 60 by 60. Uh, interesting. Let's see. In the camera, I can see the figure and the reflection. Oh, I see it now. Okay, I see it now. It's like the shadow. Um, and then you've got the temple here and some birds. Compared to the original image, though, this is really pixelated. There's only 22 colors, um, but the, the canvas is actually really nice. Uh, it's it's pliable. See that? It's really kind of soft. It's not floppy, but look. Okay, I can take the drills off now. I know y'all are going to be like, Rachel, get your coffee away from the diamond painting. I can't. It's too early in the morning. Okay, but that's that's good. Okay, let's look at the, this, this glue. It's very sticky. It is poured glue. Cool. It is a round drill painting. There are little guide circles. I'll bring you down, but I don't see very much up here in the light areas, which is great. There's, so 22 colors. And there's a mixture of of letters and symbols. Let's go down to the canvas where there's a good area of confetti, maybe over here. Okay, I, I wanna be as thorough as possible in this review because a lot of people did request it. So over here, we have legends on both sides of the canvas and that legend is huge. Compared to my, my hand, this is very easy to read the symbols here are much bigger than the symbols on the canvas, so it is easy to identify which one you need and where it goes. I like that. I do like that. They're all oftentimes the symbols on the side are even smaller than the symbols that are on the canvas, so it's really nice to see that. 
me move this up. So I hope you can see here that around some of the symbols you have little circles like this little eye symbol and that's to help you place the diamonds. I don't think there's going to be an issue there and I'm going to show you in the lighter area where this is 3866 which is just one shade off of 3865 whereas it's a very very white color um, there is no circle very little to no circle. Let's even go further down. Can you see the glitter on the canvas too? There's so very little of a guide circle that I wouldn't call it a guide circle and I love that. I love that. That is excellent. That is a great sign. The reason why I like that if you are new to diamond painting is because when you place a light colored drill and if there's like a dark circle around the symbol it can show up. So even if you're really careful with placing your diamonds. So here are the symbols. I think they're quite clear. Let me just make sure. Dad? Dad? <laughs> Baby. I love I love finding um finding words in my diamond paintings. It kind of gives me a kick. Okay. Um anybody else? <laughs> Am I alone in that? So you can see very clearly the symbols and the differentiation. I think the U is a little hard to see, but there's so few of them that it should be fine. Uh, I don't think, overall, I don't think you would need a light pad for this particular piece. This is gonna so, go so quickly as well. Um, again, I wish I had gotten a bigger size, but c'est la vie. Uh, maybe next time, I don't know. Let's pull you back up. Dad! Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> One sec. Okay, this is without the widescreen angle. This is what it looks like. So there's no alteration of the picture at all in this frame. I do kind of wish that there had been a little bit more color, but especially for, for the amount of money, uh, 20, $24 with the coupon, I kind of expected to have more colors. That's the one thing. Oh, sorry, you can't even see. That's the one thing I kind of wish because, let's see here. That's the original image and I just thought there would be more. But then again, you know, watercolors and diamond painting can be difficult to, to come off across. So let's have a look at these drills. These drills are some of my favorites. So we have, ooh, and there's a mixture. There's this DIY ZHS. I wonder if there's a new manufacturer coming out. Okay, the drills come loose, so you will have to put them in order. So I'm gonna do that right now on camera. So I've just checked and I've got diamonds for every diamond DMC number that's on the canvas, but I don't have an inventory sheet, so I don't know if I have enough. Um, the thing about these bags, I've seen these particular types of drills in die moon shop um, canvases before in that they're, they're smaller or larger depending on the number that's in the bags. I have no idea how many drills are in that bag. So hopefully, fingers crossed, there will be enough to complete the painting. Um, I think in my f overall feedback, I would say that if the drills come in this way, that there is an inventory sheet or a guarantee. I, I don't know if there's a guarantee or not. It's probably on the listing and I'll have to check that out. Overall, I'm pretty impressed, but again, I think it would be nice to to have more colors in the diamond painting, but that's just my own personal preference. There are a lot of people out there that don't like confetti, but you know me and confetti. So these are the diamonds. These are just a close-up look at them. And guys, 
I just want to say it real quick. The dimples on the bottom will not affect the diamond painting. It's when there's a tab on the side that will push another diamond and cause it to, to move out of the place it's supposed to be. That's when you have an issue. So when you see little dimples on the bottom, that's not the problem. Just, just to be clear, to be clear. So that's good. These are good too. And look how shiny they are. Such pretty colors. There's all kinds of pinks. 153 as well. Really light pink. We've got some green. This is, uh, what is this, 937. Kind of like an army green. We've got 3609, which is very pretty baby pink. And then we have some, you know, more creamy colors for the sky. Ooh, and we have 553 as well, which is lovely purple. I won't go through all of the colors, but they're all muted colors of purple and pink, mostly. And I love them. They're so pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this little tiny unboxing of the Kienza Hui store on AliExpress. And if you did, you know what to do. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or queries, please leave them in the comment section below. Please feel free to also join me over on Facebook in Crafters Anonymous, which is the group that I share with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. Uh, the link is down in the description. If you would like to check out this store or this painting, I'll have the link to that down in the box below as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.